Joe Biden, um, uh, yesterday the Department of Justice is going to finalize the rule um, that was part of the 2022 um, bipartisan gun deal that yeah. President Biden signed. Um, yeah. One of the elements of that was closing the gun show loophole. Yeah. I, I think this is so important to bring up because the first time this was really, and I've it'd been discussed in many circles forever, but like where it became a hot button politically, it was introduced in Congress, was after Columbine. In 1996, we're in late. Yeah. We're doing a late 90s theme here with OJ and Columbine to start in yeah. 1996. So here we are, a quarter century later, and it finally gets done. Um, I, I, anyway, I think there's a lot that can be learned from it for, from that, and it also says a lot about Joe Biden that he doesn't ever get credit for these kinds of things. Just kind of wondering your reaction to the to the gun show loophole and that gun deal, and then just generally what it says about the Biden presidency. Yeah, I mean, I would say compared to what I expected after Democrats had. Senate control, so full control of government, albeit narrow full control of government in early 21. Yeah. Um, Biden has produced less in the way of liberal legislation than I hoped and expected in terms of changes to the welfare state. Really? Uh, yeah. Changes okay, to the welfare state. Let's go through those. State. What did you hope and expect more of? Uh, I really thought they could get a permanent expansion of the child tax credit. Sure. Um, JVL writes maybe. about this yesterday in the triad. This is, yeah, like, I would even, I, I, I barely call that liberal. That was like a reformicon conservative thing. I mean, both sides wanted it, but like that was a big, that was a Marco Rubio platform provision in 2014, right? And so it is kind of crazy. Yeah. That that didn't get yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I didn't really buy that conservatives, I mean, that's, that's redistributive and conservatives yeah. hate redistribution. Fair. So I thought in terms of major redistributive changes to the wealth, to the, to the welfare state. Um, that was to me like a minimal expectation that they didn't get in turn, you know, maybe like a, a child, child care program or some kind of social safety next expansion for, for paid children. leave they, kind of thing. Yeah, they didn't. Right. Well, right. Um, paid, paid, paid leave. Right. They, that sort of thing. I, they didn't, they didn't succeed in getting that. And that to me was a disappointment where he's exceeded my expectations was in his ability to get bipartisan legislation. Now those things don't, exist at the same scale as the kind of liberal welfare state changes. But I was pretty cynical when Biden said, I would get this town working again. I'll work with Republicans. We'll get some things done. We'll get, you know, we'll get some small things that we agree on. I thought, no way. Um, but he did it. And I think the gun show loophole is, is, is a good example of, of a really solid expectations beating record in that, in that department. Yeah. And it's meaningful. I, I have a lot of, I've heard a lot from people in the gun um, gun safety movement, in part because my status as a former Republican, for whom this is an issue that I'm I'm passionate about, uh, that is you know in line with progressive folks, and I do think people under it's given the scale of the problem of of yeah. gun deaths in this country, right? It, it right. seems like kind of small ball. It can seem small ball, yeah. but like yeah. uh, when you just think about the the mass shooting problem, right, as opposed to the the you know, handgun much crime, larger right? problem of endemic shootings. Here. Exactly. The man, right. like just limiting the ways in which those radicalized, right. oftentimes young people can get guns is very important. Right. And this was like right. one of the easy ways for, for them to do it. So, uh, so it was good, meaningful. And sense. radicalized old people. Yeah. I mean, they're and, and radicalized old, old, old people's access to guns. You mean, or, or yeah, the gun you know, shows I mean, themselves radicalize the old people? Maybe a little. No, bit no, no. I mean, they're they're radical, yeah. radicalized old people who have access to guns that who shouldn't have access to guns. Uh, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I agree with you on that. On um, I think that the ex the Biden expectations beating though. Don't you feel like he gets so little? I, I feel like he gets so very good. little credit for the expectations beating on the bipartisan side of things. I think in part because yeah. maybe some of the left don't want to don't want to acknowledge that, that that there are a handful of normal Republicans left. I, I don't know. I feel very comfortable saying that the Republican Party is totally radicalized, and yet yeah. Joe Biden still managed to make a couple deals with them. Like I, I don't think that those two things are in conflict. But I think sometimes people right. do feel like they are, and so they don't want to say it. Yeah, I mean, I think the mechanism by which a lot of these deals get made is just to take them out of the news. So, you know, there's this phrase that's used secret Congress, and yeah. some of it is secret Congress, right? Where like literally Congress will just emerge like we we hammered out this deal. No one knows about it. And here's the bill and we're voting on it today. Um, some of these deals aren't secret Congress. The, bi the bipartisan infrastructure legislature wasn't secret Congress, but it wasn't heavily covered. Yeah. And and that's why it passed, right? Because if it becomes 
a big part of the news, then it becomes enmeshed in political conflict. So if you really do it on the down low, you, that's how you get some of these deals done. So the flip side is that's how you get them done, but at the cost of getting a lot of news coverage. It just kind of comes and goes right. without getting a lot of attention. It's the conflict. It's the stories with, with that pit the parties against each other that really lodge in people's memories. Or if it comes and goes and, you know, you have it done and then Donald Trump decides that, you know, the Republicans aren't allowed to do it, as we've seen a couple of times recently. That's true. That's true. That no, Trump can actually sort of raise the salience of some of these issues. <laughs>